in Divinity Original Sin 2, there are many different ways to resolve combat. Here, for example, we have just run into some rather high-level enemies. They are dangerous. Wordless is a mage who can silence us so we can't cast spells. These lizards just love using the elements against us. And there is a mysterious priestess on the edge of this cliff who we rather not face right now. Our party is a little under level, so we'll have to be creative. First, the ranger uses his polymorph ability to grow wings and flies to higher ground. This gives him advantages in both damage and range. Good thinking, ranger! He can work on wordless, battering the mage's magical armor with various arrows. Oh no! One of the lizards has set our mage on fire with a reckoning fireball. Quickly, she makes it rain, and the fire is doused. She then blesses the steam cloud so it heals her. She has turned the situation completely around. The rogue uses the polymorph chameleon skill to turn invisible, then uses cloak and dagger to teleport while remaining hidden. She strikes the witch with a backstab, but it doesn't quite seal the deal. The ranger uses his nether swap skill to switch position with one of the lizards. A convenient ballista now lies within reach. She kills both of her enemies in one shot. Well played, rogue! The mage teleports a cursed oil barrel onto the campfire. It explodes and everyone nearby is now standing in necrofire. The explosion destroyed the last of Wordless's magical armor. So now the ranger can shoot her with a charm arrow. Wordless is on our side now. And look, she has silenced one of the other enemies. Success! The rogue uses adrenaline to borrow action points from her next turn. She creates a breathing bubble. She's no longer affected by surfaces or clouds. She sidles up to this magister and hits him with her decaying touch. Healing spells will now injure him instead. Our rogue is very mischievous. Our lizard warrior uses his battering ram skill to bring down the enemy's physical armor. With his shield bouncing skill, he hits both enemies in one move. Spectacular! Meanwhile, our mage has lured the last of the magisters over to the edge of the cliff. She teleports the unsuspecting foe into the lava below. Poof! The Magister is nothing but ash, and we didn't even need a dragon! Our party has defeated our enemies, with clever use of our skills and abilities, and a willingness to adapt to the environment. We have won the day!